Welcome back to The Contact Coach. I'm going to visit France at the top 14 and we're going to look at round 13 and three great tries what I feel are worth a look at. And as ever, please support worldrugbyshop.com. They are your one-stop shop for all your rugby needs. First up, we have Bordeaux. And you can see Cordero here. He starts his play and he's also got an important role. But let's look at the structure that you can see from Bordeaux. So from a wide ruck, they have three forwards and they are designed to carry. You also have Jeanne Bear, a playmaker out the back for an attacking option. So they go with a hard carry. You're also going to notice that off 10, they have two forwards and they also have a playmaker out the back. This is again to provide options. What I like about this is there's a quick pass and Cordero has worked off his wing to create a 3v2. When he gets the ball, he injects pace. Look at his beautiful little basketball pass. Then you have Ben Lamb's agility. He drops his left shoulder to fake his going left, pushes off his left foot to get that nice little offload. Now let's look at this from the back angle. So you've got Jean Hubert, you've got the two forwards, and you've got the playmaker out back. This is just providing attacking options. So he decides to go out the back because the defence are narrow, great early pass, fantastic offload, good agility by Ben Lamb, little offload, what a fantastic finish. Here's Ben Lamb in slow motion. You'll see how he just drops the shoulder, plants off his left, just creates that disconnect to get that offload in. You'll see a similar structure here for Jeanne Bear's try. So there it is from a wide ruck, you've got your three forwards and they're running hard and you have your playmakers out the back. So the forwards carry in, they win the gain line, they set the ball up for attack. Now you're going to see the same structure. You've got Jeanne Bear, you've got two forwards off him and you've got a playmaker out the back. So you can see it's the same setup and it's designed to create options because now too long because they're worried about last time they're all looking at the outside backs and just like he did against England he sees the gap he notices it's a prop he knows he can beat him for pace and he just slices through the gap great footwork to beat the last defender so let's look at this from the rear angle so he sees the gap he's through he uses the last defender's momentum against him his hips and momentum are going to the sideline so he entices him over he puts on the step to go back against him, and then there he is scoring a great try. Two wonderful tries from Bordeaux there. And if you have a chance, just quickly subscribe to my channel so you never miss some content. Now let's look at the Racing try. And despite the weather and position on the field, Clement decided not to compete. Okay, strange decision because they could have got under pressure with a slippery ball. But we're going to play on, so there's a mall forming. And it's not really going anywhere. There's not really a lot of opportunities. Clermont are pretty well covered. But this is how quickly a team can strike. Also, late in the game, three points down. This is why Rassen are on such great form right now. So Imhoff sees the opportunity. He breaks down the wing. And really beautiful footwork to keep that ball alive. And Le Garac really does a great play here. So here's a no-look pass. Imhoff is off. Just watch how he utilises the space and his footwork to keep the ball alive. Legarek is there. He's in support. So he's keeping that ball alive. And now watch this footwork. So he knows that someone's going to come and try and tackle him. He pushes off his left foot to create himself and give himself some space. Then he's got the awareness to run hard, present the ball. And this is a really great clean out. Okay, it just allows Rassin to keep that momentum going. Finn Russell, he sees the spaces out wide. He knows exactly what he wants to do. Zebo is wide. He takes it to the opposition, drops the ball onto his right foot. Beautifully weighted kick. And just look at this catch above your head in the snow. And then the awareness to sidestep and spin to score a great try where ultimately wins the game. So he's got the awareness to step, spin, and finish a fantastic try. And ultimately wins the game for Rassin. Thanks for watching The Contact Coach.